Arizona State will take it with another possession. Eight on the clock. Brown creating space for herself. Makes a man dance. And connects a four-point game in Tempe. Maddie Nero. Another three for Pollard. And she is cash today. How about nine minutes in? Olivia Pollard, 11 points. Four for four, three for three from three-point land. Shot clock dark for ASU. Down by 10, 10 on the clock. Simmons is going to take the last shot herself. She's looking for offense. Gets a screen for Miller, ran into trouble. Jaden Simmons steps into a three and hits. That might be a big bucket in the grand scheme of things for Arizona State. They trail by seven. Kadee. Jade Kadee, a step back three, connects. That's tough. 29-22. It's tipped on the way by Brown, picked up by Miller. Jalen Brown gonna attack the basket, left hand lay goes. Transition points are gonna be huge today for Arizona State. In the desert we arrive for the final game of 2023 Arizona State women's basketball from Tempe as they take on Santa Clara out of the West Coast Conference here on ASU Livestream 1. Ryan Sikora, Isai Romero here with you today. The Broncos are pretty darn good. The Sun Devils off a win. They tie their season win mark from last season. Already eight wins this year. A win today. They take a two-game win streak into conference play and they have more wins in 2023 and 24 than they did in all of the previous season this year number two of the Natasha Adair era. Thompson off a good action, tried to get inside. That's a good rejection from Pollard. And Journey tried to win the ball back, committed a foul. Still a good look if you're ASU, got a rim drive, but maybe use a little up fake right there. Get Pollard in the air before you go up. They're sticking around, they started this half down seven. They're only down seven right now, but in two minutes they've only allowed two points. Heel underneath, hit the bottom of the rim, touched off her knee, son of a basketball. Good defensive possession right there. Able to get the stop. Now you got to get some offense going. Simmons will run. Crisp is out there. So is Jalen Brown. So it's Simmons' offense to control. Wave it off. A foul on the floor. We saw a lot in the first half. And really throughout the first 12 games of the season for Arizona State, it's kind of an alternating 1-2 when Jaden Simmons and Triana Crisp are on the floor together. And it was on the floor, so an inbound underneath. Toure gets it, Simmons rolls it. Brown in motion, now sets, and Crisp. Glides her way inside on Haraki, feeds Simmons. Seven on the shot clock for Jaden Simmons, right hand. Offensive rebound, Toure, that did not hit the rim it will stay with the Sun Devils. This is perhaps a pretty big possession now. You get 20 more seconds on the shot clock. You can get within five with a two. You say two because Arizona State has not taken many threes here today. Two of seven from beyond the arc. Base for Brown. Checks inside, attacks, misses the layup. Scramble for the board, picked up by Toure. Souza. Kick out, deep to Simmons, no good. Another one, that one's tipped away, kept alive by Souza. Toure in the post, she's got a nose for the basket there, and she gets inside and will get to the free throw line. That's been the biggest difference for ASU in a lot of ways this year. The post players, especially Kadisha Toure, like to score the basketball, not just go get rebounds. Yeah, and she has an array of moves out of the high post and low post. She can really work it all around on the inside. Does a good job of getting the up and under for the foul. She'll go to the free throw line, 56% this year from there, one for one today. Well, and right there, again, offensive rebound, creating possessions for yourself, allowing yourself to get the ball more than the other team, and you're going to have some more success with that. And that's the tenth of the day for the Sun Devils. They got two on that possession as Toure misses the second. 
two for three on the afternoon. Haraki pushes inside, and Heel will slow it down. Pollard left wide open, a late closeout, and she's gone cold now, missed her last two. Good closeout by Toure there, and a foul on the floor. Committed by Edmondson, it looks like. ASU's done a really good job of coming out of the press and scrambling. Finding the right guy, finding your guy. Closing out, Pollard wasn't able to get that one to fall. That's a positive possession for ASU. And it wasn't the greatest defensive set to leave Pollard that wide open, but there's the closeout, the hand up that you wanted in the first half. Offense runs through Sosa, now Brown checking in. Long lay, right hand, another long offensive rebound for ASU. Jalen Brown threw it away. It took a deflection, though. Stays with the Sun Devils. Chris keeps it. It looked a little iffy. Arizona State will take it with another possession. Eight on the clock. Brown creating space for herself. Makes a man dance. And connects a four-point game in Tempe. Arizona State 243rd in the country in free throw percentage. Santa Clara top 10. The big one, though, that kind of gives Arizona State the hope and the advantage today in this matchup. Strength of schedule. The Sun Devils 22nd in America. The Broncos 169th. Yeah, this Sun Devil team has already faced some competition and some tests um, on the road and in some neutral sites, but they've been able to kind of take care of business this season, starting out, like you said, eight and four, already have uh, the same amount of wins that they did as they did last season. They could pick up one today and, and, and have a better season already than they did last year. 